All right, guys. Um, got a new video for you today. This is actually on my uh, Nexus 7, but what it's going to be about is uh, this right here. This is a OTG cable, and you have your uh, female USB and your male micro USB right there on this end. And let me just kind of explain a little bit about what OTG cable does. Um, an OTG cable, basically on USB cables you have a master and a slave. Uh, is the best way to analogy, I guess you could say, to explain this. And normally the Android device is a slave and your computer is a master. Well, what this OTG cable does is it turns your Android device into the master and now any device can plug into it and become the slave, a normal slave device. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in down here to our port and flip that around. Now we can plug in something here like, sorry my screen went off, this cable which is for this mouse. So we'll plug that in and all right, there it is. All right, so let me show if I can show it to you. So as you can see, I have a mouse on my screen now and you can click on whatever you want. You can click and drag across the screen, move your screen that way, you know, go to your uh, Gmail. Hard to see because of the camera, go back to home, you know, do whatever you want to do with a mouse. And there's no drivers involved in this. You just plug in the OTG cable and plug in a wired mouse or a wireless mouse even, and bam, you got it. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, let me show you some of the other stuff you can do with it. Um, if you guys go ahead and uh, download this application, which I will show you, it's called Stick Mount. This is it right here. Uh, this involves having root access to use this, but with it installed, if you take your little USB drive and you plug it into your cable down here now stick mount comes up and mounts that USB stick which is now flashing it was and if you go to a file manager like ES file explorer USB storage and now you're looking at uh, the files on your USB drive so I'm gonna go to videos really quick and then here is a little video of my daughter. Uh, but it won't open because I don't have that file supported. But anyway, um, now you can go to all your pro you know, things, anything, anything you can see here that's on your USB drive. And along with that, it also works with a portable hard drive. So just plug it in. And your portable hard drive is going to start blinking over here and stick mount's going to go find it and we're going to go back out of this and go to usb right here storage and now this is everything that is on my portable hard drive and i can get to all my files i can copy and paste and move them on here do whatever i want to do with it uh so really 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 cool uh, i got books on mp3 all kinds of stuff in here and uh you can access all that stuff right here off through your OTG cable. So, last but not least, I'm going to unplug this and I want to show you this. We can do this with an OTG cable also. Nice gaming controller. This is a USB gaming controller. So, just plug it in. This doesn't require, again, any kind of hacking, doesn't require root access, any of those kind of things. And, uh, we're basically going to see at the bottom I'm selecting things with my controller right now and we're gonna pick that one and we're gonna go to this beach buggy blitz one of my fun games I like playing and it is going to load up the game and then now we're gonna play it with the controller like I said again absolutely no settings really you have to do just plug it in um, the only thing you got to do is in most games you're going to have to go into the system settings which is over here in the options and go to controls and then you can see I already have set them up but you can just click on one and then push the button on the controller you want and it'll set that button for that control 
So I'm gonna go ahead and play just to show you. All right, let's go. So as you can see, I can actually move with my controller here. It's gonna be out here in front of me. I'm not actually touching the screen. Um, I'm actually doing this through the camera, it's a little hard. But uh, pretty sweet, awesome game. Some of the stuff you're still gonna have to select with the touch screen, but most of it should be selectable through the gamepad. Oh, I'm terrible right now. It's hard to drive through the camera lens. Anyway, there you go. So that is how to use your gaming controller. So I'm going to pause this out. And we'll exit out of this. So that's the gaming controller feature. And then, if you really want to, I'll show you the last thing we can do. We can unplug that one. And we can plug in this. Multiple USBs. Now this is externally powered by a power supply. So what we're going to do is plug it in to my OTG cable. And we're going to plug in our mouse. And we're going to plug in our pen drive. Alright, got everything plugged in there. Alright guys, now I got this mess. USB here set up Whoop. all those goodies in there and as you can see here I have a mouse and not just the mouse but I have my USB stick in here so I can go to USB storage and there it is there's all my stuff so you could even put a keyboard on this thing if you want and you could have key wires keyboard mouse everything play all kinds of cool games and stuff with this setup so once again um, this is an OTG cable which I will pull off here and show you again right here you can look online you can actually make your own if you want this I bought off of eBay it was like three bucks two bucks something like that and that's even with shipping I mean they're really really cheap not expensive at all like I said female on one side uh, male on the other small and uh, this is my Nexus 7. This is rooted. That's the only way stick mount will work. So you can mount your USB drive or your portable hard drive. Um, but I have actually tried this OTG cable on my Nexus Galaxy Nexus here. Uh, and it does actually work on here also for the mouse. I tried is what I tried it on. Let's see. I plug this sucker in. Slide it away. And plug my mouse plug it in should have a mouse on it and it does so you know click on whatever after there you go there's my mouse so like I said you don't really have to do anything to get this OGD cable to work at least with the mouse the gaming controllers and the keyboard if you want to do USB drives or anything like that stick mount stuff uh, definitely gotta have stick mount which is an app that is created by um, see I think it's uh, Chainfire I think it's the guy's name let's see if I can get to it when I go to about here I've probably got an about in here yeah follow me developer right here Chainfire he's an XDA guy I think he's one of their like moderators and everything he makes uh, super sue stuff like that so he makes some really good apps um, so yeah that's it guys this is uh, how to use an OTG cable um, I will put some links to uh, stick mount and uh, maybe where you can get one of these OTG, ca OTG cables uh, in my links down below and uh, thanks thanks for checking this out uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it give you a thumbs up if you, you liked it and we'll catch you guys next time